Well, in the Korean Peninsula, military tensions are at a high point as the pace of both North Korean weapons tests and U.S. and South Korea joint military exercises has accelerated in the past year in a cycle of tit-for-tat responses. North Korea's state television early on Friday showed images of missile launchers reporting that they took place earlier this week from the 21st to the 23rd of March. Now that coincides with the latest, or excuse me, with the last time South Korean authorities said they detected the North launching missiles. The Korean Central News Agency said Pyongyang launched four strategic cruise missiles and also deployed an underwater nuclear attack drone. It also reported that leader Kim Jong-un said the drills showed that Pyongyang's nuclear war deterrence capability is being bolstered up at a greater speed. Meanwhile, South Korea's Air Force released details of a five-day joint area drill with the United States hours after North Korea claimed it had tested a nuclear-capable underwater drone designed to generate a gigantic radioactive tsunami that would destroy naval strike groups and ports. The five-day joint drill with the United States began on Monday and concluded on Friday above waters off South Korea's western coast and included live-fire demonstrations of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapons. The Air Force said the exercise involved various South Korean fighter jets and at least one U.S. A-10 attack plane.